Now let's take a look at the hip joint. We'll remove the femur for a moment and look at the acetabulum. Here's the broad C-shaped articular surface, sometimes called the lunate surface. This non-articular part of the acetabulum is the acetabular fossa. Around the edge of the bony acetabulum, this rim of fibrocartilage, the acetabular labrum, adds to the depth of the acetabulum. This is the cut end of the ligament of the head of the femur. Its other end is attached here on the center of the femoral head. Now let's go back to the intact hip joint. The capsule of the hip joint is a sleeve of ligaments. The capsule is thin on the underside. Everywhere else, it's thick and very strong. This part of the capsule behind is called the ischiofemoral ligament. This anterior part of the capsule, which is the thickest, is known as the iliofemoral ligament. The fibers of these capsular ligaments become tight when the joint is extended. The capsule is attached to the hip bone all the way around the acetabular labrum. On the back of the femur, the capsule is attached part way along the femoral neck. On the front of the femur, the capsule is attached out here on the intertrochanteric line. 